$11 insulin was just announced in California, but it's actually coming to the entire United States. Now, politicians always talk about cheaper insulin, but this is honestly the real deal for at least one type of insulin. So I'm a diabetes doctor and I'll explain why. Before we start, just so you're not confused, there were actually two different announcements in California this week. The first announcement was not as groundbreaking. SB 40 was signed into law on October 14th, and similar to some other states, it forces insurance companies starting in 2026 to limit monthly insulin copays to no more than $35 a month, which is great news, but it has some significant limitations. First, it doesn't apply to those without insurance or those on Medi-Cal, which I'd imagine are the people who most need cheaper insulin. Number two, the copay only has to apply to one brand of insulin in each category. And number three, honestly, manufacturer coupons already exist nationwide that lower the cost of $35 a month for any brand name of insulin for commercially insured or uninsured patients. Check out my cheap insulin playlist for guides on how to get that coupon. Now, on to the way bigger news which was announced just two days later on October 16th. An interchangeable biosimilar insulin to Lantus will be available in January of 2026 for $55 for a box of five pens. Here are five reasons why this is a huge deal. This $55 price is the actual suggested retail price. No coupons necessary, no Costco pricing, not 20 lines down on your super long CVS receipt, just $55 for everybody, regardless of your insurance situation. Next, Glargine is a great long-acting insulin for most people. Glargine is the generic name for Lantus, and it's still the most commonly prescribed type of long-acting insulin. Number three, while the CalRx Glargine brand is getting much of the attention in the media, this same exact low-cost insulin will also be available all throughout the United States starting January 1st, 2026, through the exact same partnership between the nonprofit Civica RX and the insulin manufacturer Biocon. It just will be known as Civica Glargine in the United States and CalRx Glargine in California. Number four, CalRx or Civica RX Glargine insulin can automatically be substituted at the pharmacy for a Lantus prescription. And lastly, the same partnership between Civica and Biocon has committed to eventually selling a low-cost alternative for Novolog as well. Now, lowering the price of one type of insulin to $55 a month is only the first step. Hopefully, we'll continue to make progress towards making insulin more affordable and accessible for everyone. Let me know your thoughts and any questions you might have.